and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. It's time to do a bit more of walking in the rain. Um, I am officially more than halfway. Uh, if you can see, this is the company name on the top of the canvas. And I'm past it which is absolutely amazing um, so let's peel back a section and see what we're on today I'm going to peel back this a little bit I'm not really seeing any colours on here that it's sort of worth going one side or another not unless I went all the way up <laughs> which is not going to work the same so we will cover that up um, and I'm going for a section let me find where I put my pack where did I put my pack with Daisy <laughs> my Daisy cover. oh I put it actually on the table next to where I had walking in the rain I like to put my cover sheet papers away um, each time and then when I get to the end of this row I will of course add two um, but yeah and we're going to work with it flat again um, and see how this sort of works but if I zoom you guys in if I do it the right way just before I start laying out my tray and stuff and make sure that I'm in the middle wrong way for the section that I'm doing today. Okay, that's sort of maximum zoom uh, that my camera will do. So I've got out my tray that has all the symbols um, that are in colour on it. Um, on some of them, um, sort of, that have been the top of the skyline um, of the uh, painting I have found that some of the some of the bright colors have not had any symbols in that have been yellow blue or red uh, they tend to have been the lighter colors and when I've been working on it like I might uncover a couple of sheets of cover paper and like the first big chunk has none of the blue and red but then there might be a few later on nearer the bottom um, in those instances I have just started doing the sort of top end colour but then when I get to the point where I'm working on ones on bits with this colour with the coloured symbols then I've got out my coloured tray and started uh, like I am doing for this section so I'm going to do all the coloured symbols first uh, that's what I wanted to do actually turn on my light pad because it does help me uh, it's not hard for some of these symbols especially some of these coloured ones uh, but I do find I miss less if I actually put the light pad on um, so yeah I'm going to do all these coloured symbols first of which there's not loads of them do have quite a bit of a confetti section today though so this is going to be quite interesting uh, I think I might be using the lid of my colours quite often so if I do find that I'm doing a symbol that you know maybe only has five or six or less uh, different diamonds then I often tip a few into my lid and do it that way uh, just because it is easier to sort of tip them back in and move on though I have just realized I missed three of those blue symbols but it's okay we'll just tip in the lid and move along with those as well 
<coughs> quite a bit of tipping into the lid by the looks of it. Uh, this diamond painting is well and truly hanging over the edge of my desk now. Uh, so I'm trying not to lean on it too much, but I do find to get this canvas directly under the camera, it is a bit further on my desk, a little bit more to reach than maybe it would be at another time. But anyway, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day, um, having fun. I am actually filming this late on in the evening, so apologies if I go off on a tangent. <laughs> Like I often do on Whip and Waffles anyway, but I do even more so when it is late at night. Um, but yeah, it's it's working out for me to do it at this at this time and sort of free up my daytime for other things. So let's get on to comments, questions, etc. A lot of these are on the video from the week before last. Uh, because last week I did film quite a bit earlier uh, so that I could have Mother's Day weekend and launch weekend off to do other things. Um, so I do have quite a few comments from that one but then only a few from this week because I am doing it early on. Not before it's been posted but it will only have sort of the very early comments on it and I know a lot of people watch um, the Whip and Waffles at the weekend. Uh, so Cat Lady, she said she's late joining me today. Uh, she got pulled into packing bedding when she got back from work. Uh, her craft room, she said, is definitely looking a mess, but it can only get better. <laughs> It's got to that point, has it, where better is the only way it can get. Uh, she says she's off to see another house this weekend. Uh, and then, of course, it was Mother's Day. So she doesn't think she will get round to sorting much of it over the weekend. She says walking in the rain is looking good. She said even uh, a bit of block work today. Yes, I am definitely seeing more block work at the top end of the painting. Um, so the section I've of this strip, the one that I've completed already, uh, there's definitely been a lot more block work in that. Um, I did the last time I did sort of a sit down evening session should we say of doing this painting I actually worked through three sheets of cover paper um, and sometimes especially in the way the sort of top end of this painting's been um, you may have seen it on a couple of whip and waffles ago it's not been of course on the most recent ones because I think I did I think I was down here somewhere um, the last time we did this uh, I can't actually remember exactly where we were the last time we were working on this painting um, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't the full-on more blockiness at the top so I peeled back like a couple of pieces of cover paper and it was the skyline before it then got to a little bit more of sort of the building and its surrounding areas and it was really only a, it was still confetti-ish um, but it was less colours in the top sky part in the lighter part so I peeled back a couple of sheets of cover paper um, which exposed sort of say a section this big but then a little bit of it down here sort of going a little bit across this one so I peeled back two um, but I actually managed to complete sort of the full part plus that bit that peeled off um, sort of the colours in that section 
fairly quickly because there was less colours. Uh, more diamonds, still as many diamonds, but less taking them in and out of the pot. Um, so because I'd actually started at a fairly decent time that evening as well, um, I worked on that section and then I was like, oh, okay, I'm actually going to be able to get a bit more done. So I then peeled off another sheet of cover paper. So sometimes I do that, uh, especially when I'm working on a painting, a big painting, I will peel back one or two sheets of cover paper. Um, and if the design allows, I may then peel off another sheet of cover paper as I sort of go along. I'll make the decision to do a bigger section. Uh, so I actually got a nice big chunk of it done earlier on in the week, but it's definitely tipped me past the halfway mark. Um, so that's good. Like good, I'm not good. Like I'm not after finishing this so that it can get out the way so that I can call it done. I'm really enjoying doing this one, uh, but it is nice to sort of, I don't know, just hit that marker, just hit that halfway marker um, and know that we are heading towards the finish. Uh, Kaz, she says, good afternoon, Rebecca. She said she hopes all is well with me it is thank you uh, she says she's received her white christmas kit this afternoon uh, she said she's already put it in her decision wheel uh, and she has to restrain herself from starting the, this painting sometimes if you know the mood takes you then you go with it i suppose it's how much the mood takes you as to whether you will sort of push it in the queue should we say and decide to just do it <laughs> uh, Jess says have fun visiting with your family thank you um, there was uh, a, couple of, a couple of well the week before last when I was filming my sister sister-in-law and brother-in-law were due round that sort of afternoon uh, so yeah that was that was fun and we did enjoy a visit from them they also brought my great nephews um, so I got I got baby snuggles uh, I got to speak to the toddler but I got baby cuddles <laughs> so that's always good right I'm just having a quick glance now for any of these sort of flower symbols that I've either missed or uh, sort of randomly in a different section but I'm not seeing any. I was starting to fill this in according to what was the symbol the most down here. Oh, I might still get away with it. I might still try and continue on that way and see if I can get it to work. I have got my two other cases are about and visible for me, um, but they are in two different sides of me. So every now and then I keep flipping from one side, from the right to the left, uh, just to check where a symbol is. It's actually been a couple of a few days since I've done some on this because I was finishing up. Uh, I've been doing the swan and the fox. Um, which are both now finished and of course you will know that I have kitted up my next painting which is another smaller one but bigger it will take longer bigger and confetti so it will take longer than the fox and the swan did uh, and depending on how much time I have will depend on how soon that one gets finished um, but yeah, I have got another one ready to go. Um, whether I will get any more of Walking in the Rain done or whether we will be on this section next, 
will depend on what mood takes me. That is purely what it will depend on, whether the mood takes me to do some of walking in the rain or whether to start on my new one or whether I vary it up a little bit. Um, I have managed to complete more of this walking in the rain um, in between times than I originally thought I would. So I do feel like I am getting this one done quicker than I initially thought, uh, partly due to doing quite a few small 30 by 40s than a big painting. Um, so I'm not putting pressure on myself to think, oh, I need to do more of this to move on in any way. I am completely gonna go by uh, the mood that I'm in, which I never know what it will be. Uh, Darcy, she says, hello, Rebecca. She says, we have plans to go uh, to the coast on her birthday. Uh, she says, however, they may forego a vacation uh, and move into a house. Ooh. Uh, it said they need more space and this single wide isn't big enough for two people. Uh, it said their electric month, ev electric bill every month is keeping them from going ahead uh, and quite frankly this, they are fed up with freezing in the winter and roasting in the summer. Uh, they have all their fingers and toes crossed that they can do it. Well I will cross them with you uh, in the hope that you can get what you need slash want. Uh, don't mind me, I just knocked my pot over uh, and while the diamonds haven't gone all over my diamond painting, which is good, uh, and they haven't gone actually all over my completed diamonds, they have gone all over my cover paper. So I am just picking them up. It's actually easier to put them all into my tray to get them back in the pot than to try and get them back into the pot. Okay, next. Uh, Kaz says, it's me again. She says, the photo shoot that Hobby uh, and themselves had at the end of February, uh, they have the photos back and boy, they look good. Oh, amazing. It's the only thing with things like that is it you just don't know what they're going to turn out like and we're often so fussy with photos of ourselves so extremely fussy on what we do and don't like um, so it's absolutely amazing that they've turned out great get some of those pictures printed and up on the wall uh, while you're enjoying them keep it up uh, Diane, she says, uh, Di Diana Amy, sorry, she says she's new to my show. Oh, I like that. It's a show. I like, I like that idea. Uh, welcome to my channel and my show. It is a bit of a show at times. <laughs> she said uh, she does diamond art. She discovered it in 2019 uh, when she went to Falmouth in Cornwall. Uh, she found a lovely little craft shop in Falmouth uh, and got their first one from there. Uh, and they just fell in love with a diamond art. Uh, and they've been doing it now ever since. They've got so many to do now. That is the thing, once that hobby started. Uh, Olivia has replied and said, ooh, was that Trago Mills? I love Trago Mills. I have been to Trago Mills a few times. Uh, it is it is like, um, it, it's just everything. There's everything in there. <laughs> You'll find everything in Trago Mills, from homeware stuff to books to crafts to arts to clothes to oh yes it's just I love it <laughs> I love it it's an abundance of everything um does make I mean I don't know um 
Falmouth that well. Um, but I do know Trago Mills. <laughs> so uh, it does make me think it could be, but I don't know Falmouth well enough to think it could be somewhere else. Um, because they may well have another art shop that I've just um, not seen. I got a nice couple of jumpers actually last time I was in Falmouth, which was a couple of years ago. But I did get a nice couple of nice jumpers out of that one, which is always good. Right, I'm trying to work out what is sort of the best plan of action now as I'm going along um, to make sure that I'm getting as many, getting it in the easiest way that I can as I go. Um, Olivia says she might try um, try out the coloured symbols with her outside the sweet shop. Oh, I reckon it would definitely work with outside the sweet shop. Outside the sweet shop is the other high colour diamond painting from Diamond Art Studio. This one is 192 colours. Uh, I'm pretty sure outside the sweet shop is 196 or 197. Uh, it's ever so slightly higher count than this one. Um, however, it is definitely more confetti, um, more confetti based than this one. Uh, this one has been quite high confetti and it definitely has for each one that you guys have, what, have sort of seen me do or I've done on camera. But there are definitely some sections, sort of the top part, um, that does have more colour blocking within it. Um, so you do find there are places where you can get more colour blocking done and sort of feel as though you've, I suppose, done it a bit quicker, a bit faster in places. Um, so yeah, outside the sweet shop, I reckon that would work even more so because it's definitely the confetti sections of this painting that it works really well for me. Um, as I'm looking while I'm talking to you guys, there is a yellow section, a big sort of yellow block of color up the top of this. Um, and it has a red symbol in with it. It actually has um, the red up arrow um, mixed in. All the rest of the colours are black symbols in that part of the painting. Um, and if it was all like that, I wouldn't feel as though it, it needed to be separate. Uh, but these confetti sections, like all these flowers down here, works so, so much better having um, the, col the coloured symbols separate. Um, so I think outside the sweet shop would shine so much more being separated for the two. Uh, she says she, uh, Olivia also says, she says she has about 10 mystery canvases from either coup deals or fan cells. Uh, she can't remember which one it was. Um, and she said she'll do progress pictures when she starts them. I have one or two mystery ones, I think, in my stash as well. I know I definitely have one in my squares. Um, I can't remember if I also have one in my rounds. But I know I have one in my squares because I spun the wheel for it on Tuesday. So uh, I know it's definitely in there. I knew there would be more of this symbol. It's one of those symbols that um, as you move on with the canvas, as you do more of it, you sort of learn what sort of colours and symbols might be close to each other, should we say, um, and what symbols are more scattered. So I knew that was a more scattered one. But they sort of look, I don't know, they look different when they're surrounded by 
um, greens compared to when maybe they're surrounded by oranges for example uh, they can they can take on a different kind of look Uh, Teresa says she's going to save her colour blocking for the end uh, because she gets so antsy. <laughs> I like it. See, it depends on what it is. So on this large painting, um, I of course have started uh, at this bottom, at this bottom end, or what is the left-hand side of the painting? Uh, it is my favoured side of the painting to start. Like, oh, there's one I've missed. Uh, I like, you know, more so to be able to tip my head to the left to check a symbol's orientation more than I do to the right. Like, it's just slightly favoured more. However, I do often, if, if a painting speaks one way or another, um, I will let the painting decide which orientation I do. Sometimes with a picture, I like to keep the, the more interesting part of the picture, should we say, or the more revealing part of the picture to be what comes at the end. Um, and in this instance, it's partly that, but it's also partly the fact that while the more interest, well, not the more interesting, but an interesting part of the painting, which of course is the woman walking in the rain, you know, name of the painting, uh, the, while the, the woman walking in the rain is on that far end, so therefore, you know, that is sort of a key part of the painting and is a good part to do nearer the end. Um, there is also a lot more colour blocking at that end. And on this painting, uh, particularly because of its high volume of colours and therefore, you know, it's a little bit more challenging. I wouldn't say it's as bad as it potentially could have been, but it is definitely slightly more challenging. Um, having that colour blocking near the end will be nice. Uh, whereas the fox that I've just finished, my 30 by 40, that has a ton of colour blocking because of all the white, I actually did all of that first. Uh, and I did all of that first, you know, with the excitement of starting a new painting. But also, I do like the doing all of the background when it's white and then filling in sort of the main subject of the painting afterwards. Uh, so that was the option I chose to do for that one, uh, is to do it in that orientation is to do all the background first, sorry. Um, so yeah, it, it can vary. And sometimes if the painting's got interesting stuff at both ends, then I will just go for starting on the left-hand side because I say that's my slightly favoured side. I can't work out if this camera keeps going a little bit out of focus with my pen. I keep trying to catch it, but also, of course, I'm moving my pen as I do. So I've just zoomed out just a little bit to see if it can cope a little bit better. But without actually pausing where I am, putting it all the video on the computer and playing it back, I'm not going to know for definite. <laughs> so it's something I will definitely keep in mind. I'm going a little bit sort of more this way now for some reason. I feel like some of these symbols down here are going to be very much intertwined across the two. <coughs> okay, let's go for this diamond. I have brought both of my pots of colours over onto the desk because I've realised when I'm zoomed in, I do have a little bit more space to have both here. Uh, so I've brought them both over 
to try and make it a little bit easier for me to see all the colours I need. But at least I'm only dealing with two trays because the coloured one has been done, unless I've missed something. Uh, Susan, she says another fantastic waffle. Uh, she says she very much likes the idea of kitting up three paint gem mini kits at once. Um, yes, I'm really enjoying it actually. Uh, I've done a few over the last few weeks. Uh, once I kitted it up, I did quite a few of them and then I have done a couple this last week, a couple of paintings. Um, and I was able to just grab the paintings and the draw um, and just take the whole thing into the conservatory and sat down with it. So that was actually really nice to do. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving having, you know, sort of a variety kitted up. And then I also don't feel like if I manage to have a week where I do loads of them and then I may have a week where I don't do many at all. But I don't feel like I'm forever de-kitting and kitting up paint gems uh, because some weeks when I do end up doing a lot uh, all at once, I was looking for a different symbol but then I found this one. Uh, I'm just filling in a few sort of singles that are jumping out at me to try and get them. I actually have two chevrons on here, or two more than less than, sorry, going um, two different ways. So that's actually that colour. And I've realised that they're actually not next to each other in my case for some reason so I'm going to scoot some of my other ones over and actually put them next to each other because while they do look slightly different on the canvas when you can see them both they're not hugely different <clears throat> so I'd rather have them both together and then have that mental check um, but yeah, I, I'm really enjoying having a load kitted up because then if I do have a really busy week on them, um, it's fine. But then if I also have a slow week on them, it's fine. Um, and then every now and then we also get an epic kitting down and an epic kitting up, <laughs> which is also fun to do. So I enjoy sort of the big monster de kittings and the big monster kitting ups. Uh, so I get to do that every now and then when they've, whenever they get finished, um, which will be a while yet. Um, she also says, she says she uses her air fryer almost daily as well. Uh, she says she uses air fryer liners in hers so she doesn't have to clean it every time she uses it for the purposes of heating it up um, or cooking something. She says the liners fit in her fryer exactly uh, but it looks and feels like heavy parchment paper. Uh, she said so if you can't find liners to fit you can just use um, parchment paper. She says saves on wear and tear on the fryers especially if you're putting it in the dishwasher. Uh, yeah we do have some like silicon basket things that fit in it but of course the bottom, uh, the insert that goes in the bottom of the air fryer um, allows you know air to get around it more to get an even cooking. So Megan does prefer to just put it straight in the air fryer. However, um, we only tend to, while we can put it in the dishwasher, uh, we tend to mainly use that, you know, if it's if it's done some, cook something a little bit more yucky, should we say, or a little bit more liquidy or, um, yeah. Uh, that, that leaves more residue. 
should we say, that's when we tend to put it in the dishwasher. Uh, and it's not all the time. We do have the jewel, um, so there's both sides. And then other times we just we just give it more of a rinse. It's still a wash, but uh, it's more of a, a light wash in the sink than a full blown dishwasher session. Otherwise, the dishwasher would be on twice a day. Once for the air fryer with half another load and then once for the rest because they take up so much space in the dishwasher, that's for sure. Uh, Kim, she says, OK, she said she might be going nuts. Uh, she says on your on my journal update video, uh, she says she thinks that I called the koala Aussie, uh, which she thought must be the name Kaza put on the cutie. Uh, she says, but on this video, you called him Kenny again. Uh, are you going nuts or am I? Uh, without listening back, I can't tell you for definite, but my guess is it's me. Uh, it may well be what Kaza called him, um, though I don't remember it having a name, uh, but it could very well be me. Uh, I can often or sometimes sort of get names muddled up, muddled up. Uh, or say a completely different name to what I've potentially said before uh, and my kids will vouch for that so I'm going for me being crazy rather than you but I did call him Kenny at some point and that is the name I should have said so if you've heard me say any other name just disregard it and think I'm saying Kenny it's the safest way right I think I've got all of those there's quite a bit of browns coming up in some of these, but they are the ones that are sort of jumping at me to get done, even if I have missed a couple of those lighter ones. I kind of don't know what section of colour I'm looking at at the moment. That's my thing. I don't know which bit I'm looking at. I feel like I need to do some of these lighter ones that are sort of shining out a bit like a beacon, beacon. Uh, some of these lighter bits. They're making the light pad as well quite bright um, and it's actually not that bright. I think it's just because these symbols wouldn't need the light pad at all. So maybe let's get coloured in this more radiant, some of these more radiant colours. Oh, there's some of the triangles I've missed as well. I had them out before as well. I'm on a roll. Okay, where is that bracket? Where did I decide the bracket was going to go? In with keyboard symbols, which does make sense. Uh, Mandy, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's just wondering what clips I'm using to secure my canvas to the easel and where did I get them um, they are well well I call them towel clips uh, I think the site I got them from may have been called like cross stitch clips or something um, DIY digital did have some uh, at one point I don't think that was where I got them from uh, but they did have them at some point However, um, they I haven't see, the site that I did get them from. I think it was DIY Choose. I haven't been able to find them um, on there since. And the link I originally had when I unboxed them no longer works. Or maybe I didn't do this symbol. That was quite a few that I placed down then. Um, so yeah, DIY Choose I think is where I originally got them from. I have seen them in DIY Digital. Um, whether they're linked, I don't know. Um, but if you search Amazon or the web in general for towel clips or like beach towel clips, it's that sort of clip 
um, and that's where you'll find them. Uh, yeah, beach towel clips. You'll probably find some quite funky ones, to be fair. If you want something with, yeah, a little bit of pizzazz to them, should we say. Right, I am going to do some of this. I feel like this is looking quite fuzzy on camera. Uh, maybe because I've got my light pad on with it lay flat. I don't know how it's coming across to you guys, but do give me feedback whether I'm better popping it back up on the easel or whether you're liking it with me doing it flat. I thought I'd just thrown a diamond on the canvas. Um, yeah, just let me know what works best. I've missed a load of those circles that I did before. Oh, and there's me saying the light pad helps. Obviously not today, but it is a late night one, so I did warn you uh, that it might go a bit crazy because it's later at night. Uh, and I don't often film late at night, but I was kind of in the mood um, and it will free up my day tomorrow. So I was like, let's just roll with it. And obviously now you guys get to suffer because of it. <laughs> You either get to suffer or you get a bit more of a show. Whatever it may be, I'm going with it. Right, I think I've got those done now. I do feel like there's a lot of different sort of colour block blocks going on in this. There's a lot of this filtering down, there's a lot of green and there's a lot of what looks like another bunch of flowers floating up. All getting intertwined in the whole kid and caboodle. Okay, I was gonna go for that one because I thought it was on its own, but I've seen them scattered about everywhere else. So let's get some of these, go back to doing these bright ones. That's what I was doing originally. Um, Bobby says she just wanted to say thank you for all of my videos. You're welcome. She says, in January, the day before their birthday, uh, oh, they found out that their 85-year-old dad has cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, she said, your videos and diamond painting uh, are helping me get through all the worry and fear from this. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Well, I'm glad that I can help in a small way. Uh, wishing you and your dad and your family all the best um, and yeah I hope that I can help you even if it's just in a small little way uh, just help you switch off from it all for a little bit every now and then um, stay strong stay strong Sorry, I'm just getting in some little, little bits as well. These are the bits that take longer. Do you remember this with my heaven and earth design? Everybody that's followed my sort of big projects that have been going on. Because um, I sort of started doing this extra whip and waffle uh, at the end of sort of my heaven and earth design. And then I did the de-kitting of it before I then kit this up. It's like Project Thursdays. Because we don't have another day of the week that starts with a P. Um, so why not go for Project Thursdays? Uh, that's what it's sort of become. I just decided to go for those symbols that I'd missed that were this plus sign. And now I can't see them for locking. <laughs> I'm like, oh, let me get those ones I've missed. They're annoying me. And then I can't find them. Go back to the same problem I had beforehand. Right, that's that one that I missed. Let me also get these small target ones that I missed. There are two different target symbols on here. Uh, one is a lot smaller dot in the middle than the other one. 
um, and they do have different colour backgrounds as well. So one is a lot lighter than the other one. Uh, and I decided to do the lighter one first and it was obviously a bad idea because I missed this whole section here. I probably thought it was all this darker, big target one instead. Okay, what side are we going for? Which side of the canvas do I go for? I kind of feel like I want to finish this up up here, but there is a lot that transfers over, so I do need to pay attention to both sides. Uh, Lady Dax, she says, uh, they spent all day yesterday thinking that it was only Wednesday. Uh, so here she is watching this video on a Friday. I've done that so many times so many times and when it doesn't go in your favor especially when you like work full-time and you probably you know think it's a Thursday when it's actually a Wednesday it can be so disappointing the other way around is not as bad because your work week finishes sooner uh, but yeah, sometimes it does not go in your favour. And it can be, yeah, it can be so disappointed. But rest assured, you're not the only one. Uh, my videos are still here. Many people don't even watch these whipping waffles until the weekend. Maybe just to commitments. Uh, some people play big catch up over certain periods of time, depending on how big their life's got. Um, so yeah, don't you worry for doing some that we've all probably done before. Some more than others. <laughs> Me potentially being one of them. Okay, I think I've got them all. Do you know what? I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to move on and say that I have because otherwise I'm just not going to get this finished. <laughs> not get the section finished. Um, she did say it was a good job that she realised um, when she was watching this video on the Friday um, as she would have been missing the launch otherwise because <laughs> these are comments from last week's video. So I hope you got everything that you wanted on launch. A couple of bits have sold out. Uh, we do still have trays though. Um, I knew this would be a tray colour that would last longer, uh, which is why I kind of thought it would be a nice one to slip in after last month's that sold out really quickly. Uh, it's nice to sort of vary them up a little bit, uh, especially if people do want to get hold of um, limited edition trays. It takes the pressure off every now and then if things don't always sell out as quick though some months you even surprise uh, yeah you surprise us all some months and I tipped all them out and I didn't actually need that many that's okay that's okay we'll keep going keep going move on to the next and I'll actually keep half an eye on whether I do need them on both sides of a painting or not uh, Poppy says, hi Rebecca, she says thank you for the recommendations, she's going to check them out, awesome, I'm not actually sure what I recommended because it was a video from two weeks ago, <laughs> but hopefully they have helped you, uh, sometimes I'm really good at remembering things we've discussed in previous videos and sometimes I'm absolutely awful, today is obviously the latter. So, yeah, hope it's worked out. Uh, she says, walking in the rain is looking lovely. It is. It is a really, really nice painting. It's a really nice painting to actually do, um, even if it is, you know, more confetti, um, especially in places. And, of course, because it's more colours, it does take longer. Um, but it's still amazing. Uh, plus, I haven't. Actually, I feel like I haven't done a large painting in ages. 
probably because the last large painting, oh hang on, did I kit up? No, my large round one ended up being the Kaiser. So I haven't kitted up one of my big, big paintings since before the December event. And we're now into March. So yeah, this is, this has been on my drafting table, uh, which is where my large paintings sit a whole lot more than I ever expected it to be. Um, I did have koala on there, so it did get rolled up for a bit while I was doing koala. However, it didn't really need to be on there. I didn't even bother taking it off for fox and swan that I did, because I just felt like there was there was no point in disturbing it. It was it was behaving itself, resting quite nicely on the side. So I felt like there was no point in disturbing the painting. Um, when I could do the others on my easel. <coughs> right, where's my mountain? This is what I call my mounting, my triangle with a triangle above. Uh, Linda Shulman, she says, uh, do you only single place? Um, no, I used to. I used to only ever single place. I kind of felt like multi-placing was cheating to me. Um, not for anybody else that does it. It was my own personal view and thought. Um, I have since experimented uh, and I do multi-place on occasion. I still favour single placing over multi-placing more so. Um, I enjoy the process of single placing and while multi-placing can be great uh, and in the last two 30 by 40s that I did I did a lot of multi-placing in those because there was a lot of background that was all the same colour uh, it was a lot more blocky um, and multi-placing is fantastic for that because you know the background is not necessarily the exciting part now is it um it's a part that may need to be done but it's not the driving force it's not what you're trying to achieve is a nice solid background so i have multiplaced a lot in this last week doing those um with this painting specifically uh, this is very confetti um, because of the amount of colours that it has in it. It's very much confetti. Um, however, I, I, I'm not straight drawn to using... Sorry, I am looking for a symbol at the same time and I'm not finding it for love the money. Um, I am still saying I do favour the single placing. So because this painting has so much confetti, I don't necessarily think when it comes to a section that I potentially could multi-place, I don't automatically think, oh, let's multi-place. I mean, I have a multi-placer in the end of this pen. It's a three-placer. It has no putty in the end of it. Um, and I probably wouldn't put putty in the end. I have one four placer that tends to go from pen to pen when I do decide to multi place. Uh, so quite often when I'm doing this painting, I'll grab a pen that just has a single placer in it, and I just tend to use that. Um, it's definitely my go-to with this painting um, but I do multi-place at times I don't multi-place on camera that often I think that's because I favor single placing so it's it's very easy for me to chat while single placing whereas sometimes when I'm multi-placing I feel like I need to think a little bit more because I'm counting you know maybe how far I can go up uh, with a multi-place though I have multi-placed on camera before it really does depend on the painting very much depends on the painting that I'm doing um, as to whether 
I tend to even think about it or not. And this painting, I just don't. I just don't think about it. I just single place all the way through it. Uh, this sort of section, there is a couple of places. I could get a three in a couple of places. It's just not worth messing about turning my pen round to get to the other end for the few places that I could do it. And then, of course, I'd have to make sure um, that I got my diamonds to go down to the bottom of my tray. So I'd be shaking it and getting my diamonds to tip down and stand up straight to be able to multi-place. Uh, and that in itself takes a little bit more time, which when you're multi-placing, perfectly fine taking more time because in effect you save even more time when you do that big block of multi-placing. Uh, but when you're working on a painting where you can only multi-place in, in very, very small quantities, uh, I just find it's not worth it. It's just quicker to just not think about it and just single place my life away. Uh, but there was plenty of time, I think it was last year, I focused a bit more on multi-placing than I ever have done before. Um, but yeah, I've just always been a single placer kind of girl. So I dabble, I dabble, but I primarily um, single place a lot of the time. That was a very long way to answer. <laughs> A very short question. But hey, it's a waffle. So I waffle my way through, do I not? Um, uh, Mysterious Days, she says she is watching uh, the end of this after, oh, an anxiety-filled day. Ooh. She says she's had anxiety for years. Uh, and as someone who's quite sensitive, she says, but can come off as quite rude uh, for something kind she tried to do. She said it really shook her. Um, she said, especially since she thought that they knew her better um, after being friends for years. She says, oh, well, she says, anyways, she said she is... She's diamond painting and trying to move past it. She said, seeing as it's not worth worrying about. Yes, that is, that is, you know, a, it, it's okay to be upset. I think with anything, it's okay to be upset um, and hurt and go through all of that. Uh, I think sometimes the hard part and the part that you do need to do is allow yourself to be upset and hurt and then move on. You know, you're allowed to feel what you feel. Just don't make everything you feel in what you feel um, and move on. And that can be the hardest part. But it's the healthiest for you. Um she says, your voice, Rebecca, she said, helps me calm down for some reason. So it's perfect. Well, there you go. You found your mechanism. There's plenty of videos, even past ones, if you need it. But allow yourself that little bit of time to feel the feels. And then move on. Um, and look after yourself. And enjoy your day. She says, as one person who, Thursday, I think it was, yeah, Thursday of this week, I did the bare minimum that I needed to do for the day, uh, which was primarily, you know, dealing with any admin emails and ensuring that orders got out. Uh, and other than that, I had a day where I couldn't move off the couch. Um, even when I got, you know, started moving and got what I needed to get done, done, it's, it still didn't spur me on. So, um, we all, we all have days like that. Um, the difference is the next day I got loads done. Oh, let me just pull my whole metal tip out of there. I had a diamond that actually didn't have a flat bottom, like it was fully concaved. 
uh, which is why it wouldn't stick. And I tried to pull it off my pen and I ended up taking the whole metal tip out. But hey, this is uh, an older limited edition pen that we did quite a few years ago. But I thought it went nice with the tray. Right, what are we going for next? We're going for that number two. Uh, this is in quite a few places. This is where I definitely start crossing over into both sides. So we'll tip it in the tray and then spot a load of diamonds that we've missed on previous runs through. But it's all good because we can fill them in in a bit. Um, she also says, she says she couldn't help but think back to that kit up I did uh, with Megan uh, when you mentioned the AliExpress stores uh, of the Tinkerbell painting that she later decided um, to DNF, did not finish. Ooh, I like that shorthand. It's been DNF'd, did not finish. Um, she says, and you kit down. She says, anyway, she said, would you be up to doing another uh, kitting up with Megan uh, one day? She says she personally loved hearing my chatter with her. I'm sure that is something um, that we could do in the future. It is something I'll mention to her. Uh, quite often, say, I film at the weekend and because Megan works full-time as um, a higher teaching assistant, which is a bit of teaching and a bit of teaching assistant, uh, because she's a qualified teacher. She is often here, there and everywhere at the weekend, or cleaning her room, which is another thing that both girls do at the weekend. Um, so yeah, we'll try and fit one in. Uh, if she ever finishes her diamond painting, then maybe we could definitely uh, do the kitting up of her next one. Uh, whether she will ever finish that painting, I don't know. She's still working on, is it called King's Breath? Uh, diamond Art Club one. It's actually here. It sits in here. A King's Path, sorry. She's still working on a King's Path. Uh, Megan does multi-place actually a lot more than I do um, but I can't remember the last time she actually diamond painted it could be even over six months since she last did um, but yeah maybe we'll see we'll see what it's like summer time as well maybe though last summer we were packing advent pretty much every single day that she didn't have something on um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. But I will mention it to her as a request. And again, that was a, a long way to answer that one. Right, I'm going to actually come down now and do this letter T. Because I feel like that one's staring at me. I say letter T, it's an upside down letter T. Keep taking out these little pieces of dry sheet as well that are getting in my road. Uh, Lisa, she says, wow, this looks amazing. Thank you, Lisa. It's really coming along, this painting. Um, it's looking so nice. And every single time I sort of catch a glance of it, especially, say, because it's on my drafting table a lot at the moment, um, because there's so much more done, you of course start to see um, how the detail all connects and everything else. So I'm absolutely loving doing this one and loving how it's coming out. Makes me really excited to do my other high colour one as well. Uh, but I am going to go back and do a heaven and earth design in between. So it's not just going to be this one. Right, I think I've got all the teas. Say, who knows? Okay, 
let's get a couple of sort of single-ish ones so I want one that I missed um cat lady she says she's late again it's becoming a bit of a habit when she says late I mean it doesn't tell me the exact time that she's posted but when she says late it's still the day the video went up it just might be a bit later than four o'clock so really don't worry about it you've got a busy life at the moment a busy busy life okay i am searching for this symbol the pregnant stick can i find the pregnant stick can i ick? it's one of those symbols that doesn't quite fit into one particular category so it's where have i put it it's not in with alphabets it definitely doesn't make me think alphabet um, or number and it's not in with triangles and arrows and things so it must be in my other case um but i'm oh there it is i'm just not seeing it wasn't seeing it uh she says life is a tad busy at the moment uh she says walking in the rain is looking great well you just go with what life is throwing you at the moment you are extremely busy so do not worry if you are slightly late to the video because the video will wait uh it, it won't disappear unless youtube decides it needs to disappear but i'm not planning on it disappearing <laughs> in any way shape or form so it'll be there for you when you're ready I actually found this next one quite quick go me i'm just doing a few of the sort of single ones before I go into a nice big block one. I like to kind of mix it up a little bit. It helps me to feel like some of these little holes and gaps and uh, stuff are filled as well. If I do some of the single ones. Uh, and then when I do some of the busier parts with more colours and put them in my tray. Then I feel like it's, you know, I, I get ahead quite a bit after I say doing all these little 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 gappy ones that are just floating I know the number four's in that tray why did I not look for it uh Carrie she says another great waffle she says she is still unable to diamond paint due to migraines uh, she says but she was finally able to get Botox for them yesterday so she is crossing fingers um, that it kicks in and helps crossing fingers and toes for everybody that needs it over this way though the toes is a bit harder but we're trying um, she says she has managed to stay out of the emergency room since her kidney stone though woohoo uh, take the wins take the wins and run with them uh, she says but while she can't diamond paint she can continue to watch me um, and get a little bit of diamond painting in through me she says thank you again well I say I'm happy that I can help in the own, my own little way uh, whether it be diamond painting for you whether it being a little bit of distraction, uh, whether it just being some company. I'm glad that I can help uh, help you all in that little way. Um, I really do enjoy doing these videos, making these videos, chatting, chatting the breeze, shooting the breeze with you all. Um, with, you know, random different little things. It's all part of the fun. Keep moving from one tray to another at the moment. I'm just trying to get some of these small bits. I know I'm going to end up with big blockiness over here. I'm actually wondering whether 
to fill in these and then try and do a big sort of sweep of big ones you know if I get all the little ones sort of out of the way especially when I only have like one of them in this section just a single just a single that doesn't want to sit there we go um Lani, Lanis, Lanis, Lanis Young. Uh, she says, beautiful. Thank you. It is an absolutely gorgeous image. And I am loving doing it. And I do think, you know, provided you've been diamond painting for a little bit, you know, so you've got to grips with the concept of diamond painting. I wouldn't suggest such a high colour one as your first diamond painting maybe uh, unless you are somebody that just throws yourself in at the deep end and that's the way you love to live your life um, then fair, fair dues to you um, but otherwise if as long as you're somebody you know that has diamond painted for, for a while for a bit uh, has got a few diamond paintings under your belt uh, and has done at least one large one so had the, you know, the concept of how much time a large one does take, because otherwise it can be rather scary uh, how long large ones can take, especially if you've done a load of 30 by 40s. Like I just say, I've just done two 30 by 40s within a week, um, but I wouldn't be able to get a large one done within a week. A large one is more likely to take me a month. Um, so as long as you understand the concept of, in effect, how long a diamond painting, a large diamond painting can take, then don't let the colours, the amount of colours, that's, that's the better word, don't let the amount of colours put you off. Um, because it is not as scary as you might think. Uh, Darcy, um, so she says she hasn't received her coup deals order yet. We were discussing this on Sunday's Whip and Waffle. Uh, she said it's going on two months now. Um, she's not impressed. Um, Lady Dax has replied to her, um, who was, who, and that, Lady Dax is the person who did reply on Facebook as well. Uh, she did say to drop them an email. So she did. Uh, they have explained to her that it is due to the Chinese New Year, uh, which I knew was the reason things may not have shipped out yet. Um, but apparently they do have a big backlog uh, and it has held everything up. Um, they've told her that they'd add a free gift to her order. Um, due to the same. She did say she knew it was the same last Chinese New Year uh, and she is hoping that she doesn't have to wait too much longer. Um, so yeah, do bear that in mind with coup deals. However, I do think uh, they should mention something on their website at the point of ordering. Uh, yeah, give you, okay, I've gone through a battery, how long is this section taking me? <laughs> if I've gone through a battery, it's definitely taking me longer, but anyway, we are on some solid colours now, it is definitely quite a bit later at night, as I'm now filming this, but it's all good. It's all good. We're nearly there. I can see the end in sight, especially now I'm working with um, a lot of like blocks of colour, as in tip it into my tray. It's still very confetti, but like it's a lot of diamonds of the same colour, though I can still see some scattered throughout that makes me think I might still be tipping some into the lid. Um, but yeah, we'll see how long it takes. Uh, Grey Legrand, she says she is amazed at how much I can get done 
in a short space of time. There's me going on about how long I feel like this one's taken, but that's more because of how many times I've saved uh, of, of my battery going is is what I've judged that on. Uh, she says she's using the same cover papers on her square painting um, and it takes her all evening to get that much done. Well, a lot of this, I am fairly quick at diamond painting, single placing, definitely. Multi-placing, I've seen people go much faster and quicker than I do. <laughs> Which is why I still primarily multi-place off camera if I'm going to, um, because I'm getting there, but I'm nowhere near as fast as I am single placing. Um, but yeah, I do diamond paint fairly fast in the grand scheme of things. Um, I have been doing it for years now. Uh, and you'll see, like even now, I'm moving my tray with me. Um, those little things, the less distance between diamond and canvas um, can definitely help to, in effect, speed up the process uh, and help you to diamond paint quicker. Uh, and I do the same even when it's on my drafting table. I will have a hold of the tray and move it up uh, so that can help. Uh, she says two things to share. Uh, she says one, she has just broke her nail, Ooh, trying to get a paint gem label off her bottle. Ouch. Uh, she says before it broke, it bent backwards. Oh, that can be even worse. That then has that sort of squishy feeling to go with it. Um, she says that's worse than nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> I agree it's a very bad thing. Uh, it is definitely worse than nails on a chalkboard. Uh, but I also don't kind of mind ch nails on a chalkboard. I would probably be the person doing it. Uh, not to be nasty, just I can stomach it. <laughs> um, she says she thinks she'll start putting washi on her bottle tops uh, before she put to make the sticker removal easier. Yeah, I think it sort of depends on the labels themselves. Um, but yeah, they can be, I mean, even our labels um, can take a bit of getting off sometimes. A lot of it depends on the bottles that they're going on as well. Uh, if you saw my de-kitting on Monday, I fully expected to have to use Goo Gone on um, the actual bottles that I was, or the the storage tubs that each individual set of diamonds was in. I fully expected to have to use Goo Gone, uh, and I actually didn't. Uh, they actually came off really easily, but I have taken our stickers off other bottles and needed to use Goo Gone. Um, so I did have to use it on the front of the storage case, uh, which was made out of a different material. So. But yeah, washi tape can be a saviour in that way because washi tape is already, you know, less like, less, uh, less sticky. That's probably the word I'm looking for. I was going to say less adhesive, but that doesn't sound right. Less sticky sounds more right. Um, number two, uh, she says she just ordered... Uh, from Amazon for delivery tomorrow, the 30 bottle art dot case in pink. Um, because the bottles are normal art dot size versus the mini size uh, as the paint gems are. She says she did, she wanted the kangaroo print, uh, but the other was only $10. So she went for value. Um, yeah, the art dot cases are the four bottles. Uh, Paint gem are the mini ones. I have a few 30 bottle cases um, that are the full bottle size. Do I have a couple? Oh, I know Caris has one, I think, maybe. Um, but yeah, I have had one or two in the past, whether my kids have them or not at the moment, who knows. Um, 
but yeah I, I like them I do like the, the small bottles for the paint gem though because uh, it's not very often it, it, it does happen on occasion but it's not very often that paint gem fills those bottles more because even though they have a lot of colours it's not necessarily a high quantity of diamonds to go with that um, spread out across the colours it's worked for my 30 bottle set for my less than 30 colour sets anyway uh, unless like it's had a load of black like the mandala ones did uh, they definitely took the different case um diamond painting with cats and dogs she says uh we love your whip and waffle thank you uh they love listening to me and learning a lot about where I live. Um, they would love to move to Ireland maybe someday. Ireland is a, is a really, really pretty country. Um, I used to go to Southern Ireland a few times for work. I say Southern Ireland. Republic of Ireland is the right way. Um, but yeah, used to go to Ireland for work. Um, a few times and while I didn't get to see all the pretty sights um, it was definitely you know nice and the people we met were amazing as well so that's always good uh, she says maybe someday she says she has bought um, my love books and trays for her besties and herself um, for their new channel diamond painting channel uh, to make life a little easier uh, she said they just wanted to know how I video for an hour or two uh, she says their recording only allows them 30 minutes um, any advice would be great um, my camera will only record for about 24 to 25 minutes each time um, it's actually to do with um, like I, I don't know if it's if it's across the board but um, I know in the UK it's, it's definitely it's something to do with the way things are taxed um, because it's a camera that can record um, if it can record more than like 30 minutes uh, it becomes classed as a video recorder uh, and therefore it I think it's subject to more tax or something like that I probably looked it up it was a while ago um, so mine only records for that amount of time anyway uh, and quite often sometimes I will notice that it is about to get to that time and I will press pause on my video and then press play and then just carry on uh, other times I will just hear a beep above my head uh, which means it's stopped recording <laughs> and in that instance I will then just look up press play again and make sure that I sort of repeat my sentence uh, but that's also when I tend to put in ad breaks um, in YouTube so people that um, don't have a YouTube premium account that gets rid of the adverts for them you know they basically pay up front to say I don't want any um, they might notice that it happens but everybody else won't notice as much uh, because the video would have been disturbed for them anyway if that makes sense so yeah I just I just press play and waffle on waffle on and keep going um, they also said uh, they love the pink and purple and pink trays because they can see the lines in the trays yes the stripe trays or the trays with you know a section that gives another line uh, we are going to look at some potentially some other ways that we can incorporate that but make things a little bit different uh, we will have more of those at times in the future uh, that's for sure we have quite a bit of a mixture this year of both trays uh, with different coloured lines and without um, but yeah it might be something that we look at I say a few different ways of designing it so that that can sort of maybe be incorporated 
in future designs coming up. Um, Dana, she said, is it me or is she the only person who couldn't see the two cross lines on the 939 that were being placed? Uh, was it the correct symbol? Uh, they said it's it's time for a glasses, but she saw a straight line with no cross line. She hopes she's wrong. Um, no, it's probably not just you. That is probably the trickiest symbol to see between the 939 and the 310. Um, they're actually both in my yellow symbols tray. Um, but the 310 goes this way. It's actually a little wavy line, but it looks very straight. This way on the canvas. 939 is this way with then two lines across. And it is, I can hardly see those two lines across. Um, I actually go by um, the 310 being this way. And it is slightly darker background than the 939 that goes this way. Um, and is a very dark blue background. There is a slight difference between the two um, and that's how I differentiate between them. And there's no other symbol that's got a line up that way and is that dark. So it's not confusing it with another symbol. It's just looking at it in a slightly different light. Um, Crystal, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she wanted to Correct her comment from today's Whip and Waffle. Uh, she says she doesn't have the same art dot draws as me. Uh, she says hers are clear um, and the bases slide together and become attached. So she has 32 bottles in each drawer uh, and she has 35 drawers which is 1,120 bottles. Uh, she says she knows that's crazy, uh, but in her defence, I like this, in her defence, um, she bought them for drill storage before she started using uh, my baggy and box storage system. Uh, she said then she decided she wanted to keep more drills than the bottles would hold, so she switched to the baggies. Uh, and she started kitting up in them. Uh, she says she pulls the drawers out for whatever painting she's working for them, uh, working on, a bit like I did with my other version of drawers. Um, she says she used them for ABs also and didn't like it, so she's back to bags on book rings. She said you just can't improve on perfection. So true, so true. Um, yeah, it, it, it works. It really does work. Um, so I get it. I get it completely. Um, you know, I've, she did post a picture on Facebook of her setup uh, with her drawers. Um, I did have something similar from Van Zell's. It's a bit like, if you think, you know, the sort of tool storage units you can get um, that have all those little drawers that the men put their little screws in. Uh, so think of that sort of drawer unit. Think bigger, <laughs> bigger and one drawer uh, and you can sort of stack them. A bit like, what else have I seen? Where else have I seen them? I think that like sometimes they'll do them as clear as, as acrylic storage on Amazon and things like that but anyway it's 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 one big drawer and it's deeper I did have some small ones like that from fan cells um, but you can sort of stack them um, so I did see the ones that she meant and that does make sense especially when you have so many in sort of a nice big stretch and you're able to you know have the space to pull those drawers out so working on one of these 190 odd colour paintings with those drawers makes a lot more sense. Um, I actually really like the looks of those drawers. Um, these ones, which are the ones that I have, are working well for me apart from, there's only one thing I don't like, and that is the way this handle is done. Um, because it pokes through, um, it's, it's like a little piece of rubber thing that pokes through. 
um, it stops these bottles sitting as nice as they could uh, and I am one of those people um, <laughs> that likes it to sit right. So I am actually thinking about potentially cutting this out. Um, what I need to do first though is find something that can become the handle for me instead. Uh, so with the ones that you've got, from what I remember, they are ones that like you hook your hand under, like those tool drawers, which is what made me reference those. Um, so yeah, and I do like the fact that you can stack multiple. What I do like about this though is my sort of top tray that basically holds all the bitty bits that are floating around in my craft room. Uh, it's sort of my little mini dumping ground that gets sorted out every now and then. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, so yeah, I do like that side of it more so. Um, but yeah, I think I might try and find something else that will work for these drawers to make them work for me. Um, but I do like the ones that you have, Crystal. Uh, and I can see how that would work good for you. I mean, this drawer system works great for my paint Gemini, so it works absolutely perfect for it. I just need to change that handle. Uh, but that's personal preference. Anyway, that section of the walking in the rain is done. Uh, so I do have... A gorgeous building now we are past the building just notice we definitely are we do still have some of the flowers to go but that's actually the end I mean we do still oh my light pad keeps coming on we do still have three maybe four more rows of cover paper um, and you know there will be times I'll be working on this but it may slow down quite a bit when I end up getting up a large painting instead of small ones. I won't get those pockets of time where I focus on this one instead. Uh, just because of my plan to focus on this one in between paintings rather than as well as. Um, it's just, it works for my brain for ongoing projects is to focus for a week or so and then move. Um, and I'm also thinking my heaven and earth design at the same time because I'll be doing that next. Um, so my brain's thinking of that, knowing how my four, how long my four year project took. <laughs> um, uh, and while my next heaven and earth design will be easier and, qu and a lot quicker, um, I do think it is something that I will focus on for a week or so and then be quite happy to move on to another diamond painting. So I'm trying to, you know, as I say, keep the, the pattern up across the two of them um, and think, you know, this is the process I want to follow with it. So um, we're definitely getting somewhere, though. It is a 60 by 80. Um, so I, I may get a little bit more done. I may not, but if not, we will be down here um, next week. Or, say, we may be up by the top, dependent on, yeah, how quick my other painting goes, really. How quick the one I've just kitted up, uh, the hug in a mug, uh, coffee hug in a mug. It will depend on how quick that goes as to whether I decide to do some of this. Uh, because I would like that to last a couple of weeks. <laughs> Just so I can de-kit my other kits. That's, that's the main reason, really. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this Whip and Waffle. Uh, I did a really long Whip and Waffle on Sunday. Um, so I'm not doing a longer Whip and Waffle on this one. Uh, but I may do in a future video. Because I, I'm looking... Uh, I don't have too many depends how much I chat doesn't it it is a late night one I have have a few more comments on last week's still to go through but anyway thank you all so much for being here and I'll speak to you again soon